Um, okay. And then um, click your, just tap your name and then rename function will come through. Okay, more rename. Okay, let's see. I have to remember what my middle name was. <laughs> it was awesome. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was not very menacing is all I remember. <laughs> Mary Jo had a way better one. Well, you're dirty. A dirty laughing squid. <laughs> we know you're we know you're dirty because you're married. I, <laughs> I don't want this to remember my name for future meetings though. <laughs> I know. Well that's the thing. You can change it. Okay. So we're very excited here, but in addition to art, we are also working on social studies and math. <laughs> so, oh boy. Hi, Perfect. everybody. How are you doing? I'm Hello. Carol Vargas. I'm your host for today. And um, we are waiting for some more people. So um, I want to give that a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to work with the brushes of mass destruction. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, and you know, Cheryl, we're changing our names to, to have our airship names. <laughs> okay, well, whatever you like, we're right there with you. Just let us know. <laughs> you could change your name, too, if you get the code. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got um, Shelby here today helping us out. We're going to have some trivia. We have Danny Vargas here, who's our producer, and um, he's going to be helping us out with trivia for a little while today, too. And then um, we're going to get started. So we're still waiting for, now I don't recognize people by their name because you guys have changed all your names, but um, <laughs> you know, that's cool. So th the gears I see, a, is this a punk, a steampunk kind of thing you guys got going on? Yeah. <laughs> it's I'm the gears, right? I had to look up steampunk. Oh, okay. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> I had no idea. I didn't either. <laughs> Yeah, so the, I yeah. thought that was kind of unique, that, that name that you guys came up with. So yesterday was, the team was um, uh, Vincent Sando. Vincent Sando, right? Yes, it was. Uh -oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> funny. So that was fun. So we have, I think, a total of, let's see, uh, one, two. Oh, Lynn's not going to be here today. I don't know if you guys knew that. Yeah. But he's not Len will be here. here. Regina's gone and Weja. So we're three down. Oh, okay. So then everybody is here then. Uh, okay. Kate? I'm here. Okay, oh, good. All right, yeah. good. So then we're ready to get started. Um, so, four of us? What oh. was that? Oh. I'm so looking there's more four of us. Jen Torres here. Oh, Jen Torres. Oh, okay. Hi. Who's, who's Kate? Me. Oh, okay, Kate, you're the, the leader for the group, right? I'm the captain, yep. Okay, excellent. I just wanted to make sure before we got started, and again, if you didn't catch it, I'm Cheryl Vargas. I'm the owner at Studio 928, and I've been working with Jeannie Men's to put this together for you guys, and it's just been great um, talking to her and uh, collaborating on this event for you. So um, before I get started, I want to give um, Katie an opportunity to say something to the team and uh, you know, get them geared up to win. All right, everybody's got their airship names like that. Love it, I don't have mine, <laughs> but I have my Hey, do you know how to do it? Um, no, but that's all right, because well, well, I don't wanna, I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, I, Go up to participants, tap your name, and then rename, that's it. Oh, it's so much easier on Zoom than, than Teams. Um, First, Cheryl, thank you so much for putting up with all of us. Um, greatly appreciate it. A huge shout out to Jen Tora for our incredible logo that she whipped up in what, less than 24 hour time. She is amazing. Um, and I really appreciate all um, the enthusiasm and wanted to, I do have to step away at um, 4.45 your time to do a quick meeting that I have. Um, but then it's only like a 10 minute meeting and I'll come back. Um, so just wanted to let you know that, that I will be, but I won't hang up. I'll try to go on the other side or something. Um, if that's works. Um, okay. Anything else we need to know or that you want us to know? 
Oh, I'm ready to go if you're if you're done. We're ready. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So that's fantastic. So I am going to just check in with you and uh, find out what, make sure you have everything you need. Everybody should have containers of paint that look like this. Um, should have all the colors of fall, of course. And I think there's some red can, um, and some uh, burnt or yellow ochre. Yellow ochre is what you have, okay? So we're gonna make sure we have that. So you wanna take out of the, uh, the uh, cellophane packet your um, image and your carbon paper, which is this, and your tracing paper. So you're gonna have a shiny side and you're gonna have a dull side. And we're gonna to wanna to put the dull side down on your paper when we get to uh, ready to uh, start tracing it. And then you also have a uh, number 14 flat brush. It has a very straight edge. And then you also have a number 12 round brush that is gonna help us with making our leaves and also get in and do fine details like the two people sitting at the trunk of the tree. You should also have a palette knife because that's what we use to dip into our containers to get the paint out, okay? So, um, you know, I've painted this already because um, even though I created this for the group, uh, digitally, we actually painted it yesterday. So this was my painting from yesterday and um, the group did a great job. I will tell you this, this is a great painting to do some freestyle interpretation. So um, you're gonna be welcome to do that um, because after all, this is a competition and you want your um, images to look unique. So um, one thing that we did with the other group, so I'll just tell you so you know, um, is that we put a little, um, like a little haunted house in the background over here. And we just do that with black. We can do everything with a silhouette, right? So you're free to, like you can do a cat, you could do a pumpkin, you could do whatever you want to make your piece unique and to make yours the one that wins for your team, right? So with that said, um, oh, I just wanted to point out too is that um, we always point, paint the edges of the canvas so, so that your pieces are the best in the competition, make sure you go ahead and paint the edges of your canvas as we go along. All right, so let's get started. So I'm gonna pull the board out over here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint, I'm sorry, we're going to trace the uh, rectangles and squares that we see on the uh, reference image. So. Okay, so hang on, this is where I'm lost. Okay, I'm watching you now. So this goes down on your canvas, correct? Yeah, so um, so that I always reiterate this a couple times because people always do it wrong. So shiny side is up right now. It should go down on top of your canvas, all right? So let's lay that carbon paper right on the edge. And so the, the shiny point. side is, is, is facing up and the dull side is on the canvas directly? No. No. The shiny side is down. Okay. Yeah. Shiny side down. Mary Jo's too young to remember carbon paper. <laughs> <laughs> remember to get DEA forms. <laughs> so yeah, so um, this is this works well with a pen, but it also works well with a pencil. So here's how we do it, okay? So oh good grief. My pen came out of my pen. Okay, so <laughs> So we wanna hold our heads down onto the, the tracing paper and the carbon like this. So you'll notice that there's a little you know, area where this isn't um, covering the whole page or the whole canvas, but that's okay. We're gonna move the, can the carbon paper down. But for now, just line everything up and hold it down, okay? So then we're gonna take, the first line we're gonna make is this vertical line here. So you just put the tip of your pen or pencil right here Leave your hand laying down on the uh, table and then just drag up slowly. This is straight. horrible if perfectionist. Yeah. Straight line. Okay. I should have brought a ruler. 
You can do that too. If you have a ruler, you can use a ruler as well. But it's always good to know how to make a straight line. And the best <laughs> way to do that is just by positioning your hand, finding a starting point, and then moving to the right or left. So like this, kind of like a pendulum. <laughs> <laughs> they were teasing me about the way I said pendulum. Is it pendulum or pendulum? It's pendulum. Pendulum. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put our pen down right at the base of that line and just pull it to the right. Okay. So we got one square. Now, uh, go ahead and move your carbon paper out of the way because it'll move, right? So turn it um, upside down like this so that it's comfortable for you. Move it to a position so that you can now make this long line going up across the top of your canvas. Okay, so we're going to line up these lines that we already made. I'm going to hold the hand down, pick up the tracing paper, and slide the carbon paper underneath. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing we did before, except we have a longer line. So we're going to do it in sections, okay? You just place your, brace your hand down on the table, place your pin at the base of that original line, and just move it to the right. And it can't help but go in a straight line, or a fairly straight line, right? Nice. I think I got the hang of it, folks. Yeah. All right. I think it's harder if you're a lefty. Yeah. Yes. I wish I had left hand directions. I've never been there. Okay. Oh, there's Brian. Okay, I was hearing this deep voice now. Sorry. <laughs> Who's the lefty? I am. Me are too. you too, Mary Jo? Yeah. The dirty girls are the lefty. <laughs> <laughs> So now I turn my canvas completely upside down to hit this last line, this vertical line going this way, okay? So I'm holding down my hand on the canvas. I'm making sure my previous lines are all lined up. So line those up. Now I'm holding my hand down and I'm gonna put the carbon paper right underneath, shiny side down. And we're gonna draw this last line. Okay, so we find our starting point, raise your hand on the canvas, and then just rotate it upwards. And then you'll probably want to stop, move your hand, go to approximately where you stopped, and begin again. Place your hand and drag. So she's using, we're using carbon paper. Huh? Okay, so your board should look like that. And if it doesn't look exactly like that, that's okay because we're going to use our number 14 brush to um, help us make some the straight lines even better. Okay, um, now there is another set of lines that are not on your tracing paper. We discovered this yesterday. So we're going to wing it by using the corner of our image and just kind of creating a square like this. Okay, so I'm using the corner of my image and I'm just going to put it right here, create a square. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing we did before with my pen. Just real slow. You don't even have to make sure all the line is filled in because we'll use our straight edge brush to uh, finish that off. And there we have it. Cheryl, when you do pictures, do you normally do it this way? Do you draw them freehand on a tracing paper kind of? Or no. is that just for us? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> this is to take the pain out of creating for oh, okay. people who don't create all the time. Yep. So I hope it helps. It does. OK, cool. Oh, there looks like a trivia question there. How many colors are in the rainbow? 
Seven. 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 Can you name them all, Kim? Roy G. Bibb. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, who right. Ding, ding, ding. Red okay. orange. So I'm going to set this off to the side. And we're going to start with our first color, which is going to be orange. So just pick up your palette, I mean, your um, paint, and just use your palette knife. And we're going to scoop out a little bit and put it on the tray. So we're going to switch our camera so we have, um, so you can see me mix these colors. Now, normally you'd say, oh, let's just, you know, put that yellow straight down on the canvas, but that's not how we're going to do it. We're going to give it a little tooth by adding a little red to it. So let's pick up a little red. What if we didn't get red? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't get red. OK, yeah, so that's, red. That, that's my mistake. You didn't get red. So I won't use red. We'll use, uh, let's see, we'll use yellow ochre. We'll use your yellow ochre for that. I forget what goes in which kits. OK, so pick what? up a little yellow ochre. Just Did we do bit. orange first? I'm orange sorry, first. I'm Okay. Step and then we're going to put down a little yellow ochre right next to it. Oh, you're mixing colors. Yes, just a little bit. Okay. So we're going to take about this much orange and about half of this yellow ochre and mix them together. Now, this is where you can get a little unique with um, how your colors go down. You can mix those two colors um, until they're one color, or you can leave the streaks so that it appears to be um, a mix of two colors. So let's just try that. Let's just kind of leave a little orange and yellow and just kind of streak that on. We're going across the top. And then maybe you even want to add, like brown might be an interesting color too. Let's see. Just going to put a little bit off to the side. Very tiny amount. And I'll experiment for you, okay? So that you can see if you like it. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Gives it some, with a little bit of a different feel. So do you guys know what they're judging your paintings um, on? Just overall aesthetic or originality or any guesses you don't know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Oh, OK. I just right, got to show you how to use your number 12 brush, OK? And I skipped that point. So let me show you that. Uh -oh. So if you had a slightly crooked line, your number 12 or 14 brush is going to help you straighten that out. So just pick up the paint on both sides of your brush. But there shouldn't be a lot on either side. And it should form like a chisel. So just should be like sharp like a chisel when you're done. And then you just lay your brush down. So make that your first step. Just lay it down and match it to the line. And then just move it to the right or the left, whichever you're more comfortable with. And that's how you use your number 14 to correct any mistakes on your original line. Yeah, I think I really like that brown coming in with the orange. It's really kind of I agree. Nice. How did I miss that on the brown? Holy cow. Like a daily. Oh, I, I missed it too. <laughs> what was that? What'd you miss? The brown. Adding some brown. Oh, yeah, just a very, very, very tiny amount. So um, if you can look at my palette over here, you can see that it's a very small amount of brown. See? Just a little. And then you always add the darker color a tiny bit at a time. A tiny bit of brown. Oh, so yeah. don't try to take like a whole. Just remember that you can always add more, and it's impossible to, to subtract it from the color. So think of it that way. Yes, when it comes to your paint. Huh? I had it on, but I didn't want to get nothing. Mm -hmm. And my other 
So just kind of lift and push the color around. And yeah, so um, I'm going to continue with that brown. I think it's kind of cool. Um, and same thing on this upper line. I'm just, I made my chisel by just wiping the paint from both sides of my brush. And I'm laying it on the line. And then I'm just going to pull upwards. And just take your time and you'll get it straight. Ooh, it looks like there's a, a trivia question. What was the name of Harry Potter's pet owl? Hedwig. Oh. Wow. <laughs> it must be a Harry Potter <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I never there was had a no delay on that. <laughs> no, there was no delay. So yeah. Just when if you have start painting the sides. Say that again. When do we start painting the side? Immediately. Okay. <laughs> Mary Jo. I hope so. I'm started. <laughs> <laughs> if you find you're having any trouble with spreading your paint, just feel free to go ahead and add some water because you want your paint to be like the consistency of ink as opposed to a paste. So we use thick body paints because um, it's just nicer to work with a higher quality paint, but um, we don't paint with it at exactly that consistency when we're doing, um, we're working on a small canvas like this. So add more water, just enough so that it's the consistency of a thick ink. And yeah, even, I'm using a canvas board today because I used the canvas yesterday. And since I have to paint this two more times, <laughs> I wanted to switch it up a little bit. But yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, rinse our uh, brush off. Now, um, the next thing we're gonna do, what color we're gonna use is we're gonna use some brown, okay? Um, don't leave your paintbrush sitting in the water. So these are not your highest quality um, paintbrushes, but they are art student quality paintbrushes that will last you for at least a year. So, um, don't let them sit in the water because if they sit in the water, then this little metal thing around the bottom will um, pull away from the wood because the wood will expand. Okay, so whenever you're rinsing your brush, you want, you want to rinse it off and then tap it on your towel to uh, draw out the excess water and then just lay the brush down. Okay. Um, before we move on, I'm going to show you about your number 12 brush. Okay, so your number 12 brush does a couple of things. It does uh, really small lines and it does, it's going to do our leaves for us. So you just dip it in your water. Here, I'll bring my water over here so you can see. So I'm just tapping it in. And then I put it on my paper towel and I let the paper towel suck the excess water out of it and I just turn it and then I get a nice point on the end. So I'll do that again. So it's nice and wet right now. See it's dripping. And then I just want to turn my brush in a circle between my thumb and forefinger to make a point. And then I get a nice little point. So I'm going to pick up some brown just on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to just show you how this works. So this very thin brush, this very thin, it'll make a very straight line for you. And it'll get in very small spaces. So it makes very small. And then for our leaves, it'll do this for us. Okay. So that's like a little advanced step. So in case you happen to move a little faster than I'm moving, you can, you can move ahead. And so I'm going to rinse this brush off. We'll come back to this number 12. But for now, I'm just going to soak out that excess water and pick up my number uh, 14 for the brown. Oh, but first I have to pick up the brown. So just go to your little pot of paint and we're going to scoop out some brown. And let's put a little black with that to give it some tooth. 
So I'm adding black, but just look how much. Can you see that? Not very much. And I always add the darker color off to the side. And then I add it into the color I want to uh, change until it becomes the color I want. Oh, what was that? What? Oh, someone answered already. <laughs> I finally had an answer. <laughs> yes. I yes. missed the question. I'm gonna um, add animal add associated with ancient Egypt. Oh. Okay. Ooh. All right. So I added some more, a uh, little tiny bit of black to that brown just to give it some tooth. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add color on both sides until we have a nice chisel. And we'll go to that line that we just made, lay the brush on the edge of it, and then just kind of pull that color down, or you can go up to it. You can go up. And this is the bigger brush, right? This is the number 14 brush. And then you can also turn it over because we added paint to both sides. So we can use both sides of the brush. So I always like to turn my canvas because it makes it easier for me. And I always paint like this, unless I'm painting a very big canvas. I never use an easel. Who wrote the songs for the Lion King? Elton John? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who is that who keeps yeah, popping those so out? <laughs> Kim. <laughs> well, see, I can't. I guess I have to call you what? Dirty laughing squid? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem very nice. <laughs> Brian, why didn't you put your name up there? I was running late. <laughs> uh, my name is French Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? <laughs> yeah. I should I should have like I was like in such a rush I I should have put my name in there. <laughs> that's fabulous, Brian. Isn't that that'll great? Be, that's gonna be used again. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um I we cut we made those leaves, but we just covered them up. Was that yeah, just we did. I was just showing you the brush technique. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just wanted while I was in that little space, I just sidestepped because mine looked like crap, so i'm glad yeah you looked up and they were gone so yeah so but pretty much we're just you know doing what um the original image uh copying the, the original image but um yeah that was just to show you how to use your number 12 which i'll probably show you again excellent because i don't think i paid enough attention <laughs> <laughs> So no problem. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we'll pick up our yellow ochre again and we're going to go into this larger square here. Oh, what was that question? Where in the United States is the largest aquarium? Baltimore? California? Sorry. Is it, Mon is it the Monterey one or the? Oh, it might be. I thought it was Baltimore. That's what I thought. But Who has it? Georgia. Georgia. Wow. Mm. Place with no water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take some the yellow ochre. I haven't either. But I'm going to add some white to it for this area here, also for the purpose of giving it some tooth. So if you can see how much yellow ochre I put down, it's like if you were cooking something, I guess it'd be about a half a teaspoon and right, wipe off the excess paint on the side and on your paper towel so you can pick up some white. So I pick up some white, I'm gonna put it to the side. Always put the second color to the side and then add a little bit at a time until you get the color that you want. And I'm just going for a lighter, slightly lighter version of the yellow ochre. You know, yours yours looks a lot more um, greenish on my screen than, than yellow. Green? 
like a oh yeah i could see that i see mine because mine looks like mustard and yours looks more like I don't know. Like yeah, poop. I get it. I totally get yeah, it. We're, yeah, yeah. We have the same color. We have the same color. Unfortunately, it's just uh, how it's translating from yeah. the iPhone that the cam camera is uh, coming from. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's see if I move it up a little closer. Would that help? Let's see. It's probably just the camera. Ours looks like um, French is mustard and yours looks like Dijon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we know we're going for yellow. So, or something, you know, lighter than uh, mustard, Dijon mustard. So that's what I'm going for. Something lighter than Dijon mustard. Yeah, you wanted like a pastel Dijon mustard. How about that? I'm going to add a little bit more white to that, and that ought to do it. So again, I'm picking up color on both sides of my number 14 brush. Nice flat brush is going to give us some great straight lines. And I'm just going to lay it down right next to the edge and just pull down. Now, does it look different under this camera? Yeah. Does it? I'm starting to get the Dijon look. <laughs> <laughs> and same thing here, just pull slowly down. All right, I think I got it. I'm always going to be behind the eight ball. That's interesting. This color does translate kind of differently on the screen. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing across the top so we can get this outlining out the way. And again, just lay down your brush and then just be slow with it. Because then if you see your brush going a little willy-nilly, you can rein them in. Which of the following songs is not a song by TLC? Say my name. Oh. <laughs> say my name. Oh, say my name. <laughs> The others are. Name. I can't see them. Is it? Oh, oh it is. <laughs> it's my generation. <laughs> so how does this, how does this question one? thing work? <laughs> like, how does this trivia question, did we add this? No, <laughs> I did. Oh. oh. Sorry. Yeah, I you're said. not getting graded on this. <laughs> <laughs> you sure William's not grading us on this? <laughs> <laughs> You're totally safe. This is purely for fun. <laughs> Name the TV show I got in one little fight and my mom got scared. You're yeah, moving to Bel Air. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there. You guys are pretty quick with this. Yes, it is. So, yeah, I'm having a little trouble with this. I'm going to put some more water. Because my paint's a little thick, because I want no problem with the spreadability here. So now that my edges are all lined up, I can just show right here. Outcast. Wanton yep. abandon. The answer oh, to yeah. this question is outcast. Yes. Which hip hop duo use the line, shake it like a Polaroid picture? Who outcast. 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 That's what she said. Hey, yeah. Uh, Yep. Good job. Good music playing. What was it? Andre 3000? Was that his name? Yep. An outcast. I actually, I went to Austin City Limits many years ago and I went to uh, the coffee shop and was got to order a coffee right next to him. And it was really? really cool. Yeah, yeah. 
I don't even know if I would recognize him. Oh, yeah. Is he little? Yeah, he wasn't very tall. Tall, skinny guy. Or a short, shorter, skinny guy, I should say. How was Austin was really City nice. Limits? Was it? Oh, man, I loved it. Was it out? Is it outside? Yeah, it was hotter than Blaze's, though. <laughs> even what in October. Uh, oh, in October. October was that yeah. hot? Yes. And there's, there's like no shade. There's barely any trees. Yeah, yeah, there's no shade in Austin. Brian, you're so hip. I never knew this. <laughs> Very hip. Ah. <laughs> the French goodbye has it going on. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure I'd be hanging out at a coffee shop during that. <laughs> okay, looks like we got another trivia question up here. Who made, who had more U.S. number one hits in the 2010s, Katy Perry or Taylor Swift? I'm going for Taylor. Yeah, oh, in the 2010s? Taylor. I know. Yeah, the 2010s. Is she old enough? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I saw her in, at um, uh, Aquapalooza when, like, when she was, like, really little. Her guitar was, like, bigger than her. T-Swift. Katy Perry's a Oh, Katie it was Perry. a trick question. So, huh. Interesting. Okay, you guys, while you guys were playing trivia, I put some green paint on the palette. I switched my palettes because I like to put my darker colors on a different palette. That's why you guys get two as well. Oh, oh I didn't trick. even see that. Yeah. I like you have put the another palette. Experience. Okay, so what we're going to do is just like we did with our brown is we're going to add a tiny bit of green, I'm sorry, a tiny bit of black to it to give it some tooth. If you don't put the black in, what happens is you can see through it, just like here. Oh, really? My palette, you can see straight through it. So um, the best thing to do, so you put less coats down, is to just pick up a little bit of black. We're going to do this, okay? I'll put that little bit of black over here, right? And then we're going to add a little bit of this to this. And a very tiny amount, right? So when you get done with this class today, you will forever know how to mix colors. You will never waste paint. <laughs> you are that much closer to being an artist. I wouldn't say that about me. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's stretching it. It's true. Okay, we're gonna, gonna call just a little yeah. bit more black to my green because I just want it to be a little more like a hunter green, you know, a fall green. So I'm adding a very, very small amount. Can you see this? Okay. And I'm adding that in. I'm gonna mix this in very well. What if it's way too dark? That means um huh. that means go ahead and put it down anyway, and then uh, maybe you can Put a second coat on top of that to lighten it. Okay, yeah, that's what I'll do. Because it's but here's the thing. So always remember, if you don't take away anything else from today, always remember to put your darker color off to the side. Yeah. Before adding it directly into the color, because then you can pick up just a little bit at a time, and then control how dark it it yeah, gets. Yeah, I'm way too dark. Okay. So just go ahead because that's good. It probably is going to have great tooth and you're not going to be able to see through it and you'll be able to put another coat down um, when you're done with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up, I'm going to wet my brush a little bit, tap out the excess water on my paper towel, and then I'm picking up some of this beautiful green on both sides of my brush so I can use both sides when I go to paint my lines. So I'm going to turn my canvas because I like to be able to Use the angle that's best for me. So I'm going to start over here in this corner this time. I'm going to pull towards me. So I'm but laying that, down that my box, on that line. That, actually, um, that box that we did at the bottom, we don't paint over that, right? Right. So just pull to the left or right. However, whichever way is more comfortable for you to make a straight line. And I'm going to go off to the other side too. And this time I'm going to pull towards the center. And you can lift if it feels like your line is breaking or if you need more paint, you can dip back and get more paint. 
and just use a light stroke. And just follow that line all the way down. And then pull down that extra paint that was created while you were making the lines. You just pull it down. So this is going to be a really deep green. And we'll probably give it another coat later on. Oh, which astrological sign is a crab? Answer. 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 <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I do. All right. <laughs> we have a lot of cancers. Here's why I'm cancer. Me too. Oh. Wow. Brian, what, that's right, you're 12, right? July 12, yeah. Oh, I'm not. Did, you, did you say you are too? Yeah, I'm July 7th. Who is? Who's July 7th? I didn't 7th? know that. Okay. Me, Jen. I'm Tora. I'm wow. July 9th. And I'm June 22nd. Nice. Am I the only pipe? Wow. So that's what, like four cancers in the bunch? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We're a very caring bunch here. That's right. Well, that's pretty amazing. That is think, pretty, pretty amazing. I think I've got a little bit of a blending going here because I, I am leaking over into my orange a little. Amelia? Hey, make it work. Make it work for you. Make it look like you intended to do that. <laughs> You know, who says you couldn't do something like, I'm going to do it just to do it? Who's, who's saying you couldn't do it at triangle or something like this? And just do what? Oh, I like it. To cover up your mistake, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Right? Now, I have a question for you, uh, Cheryl. Yeah. I, I've, been I've been painting my brush in different directions, and so you can see brush marks. Any tips on how to fix that issue? Sure. Go ahead and lay down your initial coat of paint. And then the last strokes you make will be to cover up those issues. So look, I can demonstrate that to you. When I get to that point, I'll let you know, okay? And it'll okay. be very shortly. So basically what I do after I've painted uh, my lines in, Cheryl, how long have you been doing art and how did you get into it? <laughs> I'm sure forever, right? You've been probably doing art since you were a kid. I have been doing art since I was a kid, but I never considered myself an artist until about five years ago. Yeah, I mean, I went to art. I went to school to be a graphic artist and it wasn't until a graphic design teacher said, Cheryl, you're an artist. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> and then I, you couldn't okay, stop cool. me after that. I, I just went, I went uh, like crazy. And the whole thing with the uh, paint and sip was I went to a self-employment in the arts uh, conference uh, in my senior year and uh, someone was pitching this idea. And I'm like, oh my God, is that the best idea you ever heard of? It's a great and idea. And wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so when I graduated uh, in May of 2018, I took a two-week trip to Cuba, and when I got back, I had my first um, paint party. Um, awesome. At a restaurant, and so the rest And I love how it's translated into this virtual. Yeah. Mm. You know, that's awesome. I'm happy for you because... Yes, Thank absolutely, because we. I was just on a call about the arts, and just, I mean... I, at 90, I mean, it's 91% of the people are out of work that are involved in, because it was the Art Association. Was wow. Yeah. And, and, oh, you mean like performing arts? Yes. Yeah. And, and all of, yeah. Hey, yes. I'm going to step away for a minute and I'll be back in like 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> what is celebrated on- You're brave, Kate. <laughs> the day after. The day after Christmas, Boston Day. The day after Christmas. 
<laughs> oh, okay. So here's the trick for the brush strokes. So just make sure you, you know, got enough water in your brush and it's that nice inky consistency, right? Mm -hmm. Then you want to start like for in this case, see how juicy and wet my brush is? Yeah. Wait, let me show you over here. You see that? Nice and moist. Yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay my brush down like this, and I'm light. I'm lightly touching the canvas, and I'm just gonna pull one time. Uh -huh. I turned over to the other side where the rest of that paint is. To finish that off. So it's not perfect, but it's not as strokey as the previous. Got it. So really light pressure, not like you're trying to lay down color. You're just smoothing out color. And so at this stage, what I would do actually is dry this down. So I tur I'm turning on my hair dryer shortly so that when I want to, I can give another coat here. This is very light. I'm, I'm just letting the brush glide on its own across the canvas. All right. My bottom is getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> What's getting smaller? My bottom square. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and I went a little crazy and I did something I shouldn't have done, but okay. Uh -oh. Hey, Bob Ross says there's no such thing as mistakes, only happy accidents. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, um, can I see these mistakes you are talking about? Please share. I, I painted part of the, the side by the box, the, the smaller box with the dark green paint that's darker than everybody else's. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, make it, just try to make it work. See if you can I will. Make it work. I know you can. Hey, Mary Jo, I think we're gonna be judged on um, being uh, innovative and outside the box. Yeah. So oh. if you, you just mess it up, you know, I don't <laughs> uh, There you go. Okay, I'm gonna go and pick up some more green because I ran out. And now to create our lighter green color, I am just going to add some white. So I'm wiping off this excess green off my palette knife and picking up some white. And again, always put it to the side and then mix it in. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little white and I'm adding it into my green. So I can get that lighter green color. And maybe we'll add a little um, oh, yellow ochre to that. Just a teeny tiny bit. And again, I'm not going to add this directly. I'm going to add it to the side. So I can gradually add in as much as I like. So that looks pretty cool. And actually, just to be weird, maybe I'll streak in some white because I want to encourage you to do weird things with this. So I'm going to use two colors of white and green. Yikes. Sorry about that. That's all right. We're used to that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a constant in our lives, that's for sure. Oh, I just saw Brian for the first time. I, I don't know. Oh, there's Ventura. Hi. <laughs> I Hello. can't see screen. I'm stuck looking at Mary the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that really hurts, Kim. <laughs> this is usually the time of day that you're staring at me. Yeah. <laughs> the crazy twin. Cubicle neighbors. Uh, I live in Arizona and Mary lives in Oregon. So we're on we're the West Coast people that you know everybody else stops working and we still continue to work. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so there's my little green square. So notice also that when you add white to any color, it gives it more of um, an opaque uh, uh, sense. So it's, um, you know, it covers better. So feel free to use a little more white to change up colors if you like as well. Right, so I'm gonna, oh, who won the 2016 World Series Championships? Cleveland, Boston. Not Cleveland. Chicago <laughs> or Florida. Chicago, right? Chicago. 2016 yeah. World Series. I think, was that us, Danny? He's the big, yeah, it was us. <laughs> the Cubs. <laughs> Go Cubbies. Go Cubbies. Only time they won something. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna. Who? Oh, which? What is the fastest fish in the world? And then I'm gonna turn off my sound so you don't have to hear my blow dryer. Barracuda. Ooh. Okay. My Sail daughter. Fish. Any more guesses? Don't tell me my mouse isn't working. Oh yeah, 2016 wasn't that was that the year that the Nats that long game with the Nats? Mary Jo's still stuck mm -hmm. on. Yeah, we're on Mary Jo. You what? We're on. Fish. I'm still stuck on baseball. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the fastest fish? We don't know yet. Oh. Got the hair dryer going. God, I love it. Do you guys have yours going yet? Yeah. Nope. Nope. Make sure you go on mute though when you do. I do not, Mary Jo. I am still painting. Yeah, I gotta get to my last box here. Oh, it's looking a little lame. Got to figure out how to fix this box. I don't think scientists are usually the greatest at art. <laughs> no, I think, I, I think you're right about that. <laughs> I think I have more on my hands than in my. Uh... <laughs> yeah. My daughter keeps trying to take over, and I'm wondering if I should let her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Brian, are your kids home, or are they doing? Uh, are they back in school like Franz? They're back in school. Oh man, that's crazy. But Andy's Andy's doing um, online school yeah, with okay. Columbus State. Even though he's in high school, he had the option to do like college courses as a junior. So he's doing that. Wow. That's he's actually awesome. he, he's actually getting to work for the first time. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm back. And um wow, you're we're quick. ready to um, go to our next step. Which one of you guys have not, or just tell me who hasn't drawn, dried their canvas yet, or do you need to? I need so, to dry mine. I have not. Me neither. I okay. just need 10 seconds to do it. Okay. So How long are you supposed to dry your canvas? Like, Just make sure you hold it at least six inches away from, from the blow dryer. Okay. And you should be fine. And then just keep it moving. Like there's um, don't keep it in one spot. Keep it moving, like in a circle, like that. Okay. And how many minutes should I do it? What's that? How many minutes should I do it? <laughs> it or should seconds? take you. It should take you less than a minute. Okay. Good. Okay. 
Um, okay, so while you guys are doing that, I'm just gonna talk this out for a second. Um, and just so you know, when you come back from your blow drying, what we're gonna do, um, we're laying our carbon paper down, shiny side down. And this time in try, instead of going for the top edge, we're pushing our carbon paper toward the bottom edge. Then you're just lining up your um, carbon paper. At this point, it doesn't have to be that exact. You just wanna maybe line up this line out here at the edge. And then we're gonna take our pen and then trace along here, you know, our little characters at the bottom. Don't worry about putting the grass in because our number 12 brush is gonna do that work for us. And then um, we're gonna use our number 14 brush to do the, the tree. But for now, we're gonna um, trace the outer areas of the branches, okay? Just as guides. We're not gonna do all these teeny tiny little branches on there. Those are just to show you in what direction you should be painting, okay? So, but I'm gonna let you guys take a minute and blow dry, okay? And I'll take a sip of water. What are you guys drinking? Water. Mm. Same. Oh, Coca-Cola. <laughs> Danny said boring. <laughs> so what, kind of wine do you, what kind of wine do you serve in your in your yeah. um, studio? Oh, um, so our. <laughs> The family favorite is Sutter Home Sangria. Okay. It's amazing. It's like, they make like 10 different kinds of wines and, or maybe even more. And the one that's always gone is the Sangria. So try it. Come in a four pack. Come in a four pack, yeah. Mini bottles. They should come in whole bottles, man. Mm -hmm. You need a big bottle of that mm -hmm. stuff. <laughs> like a jug. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, what is the highest grossing film of all time? Inflation included. Titanic. Avengers Endgame. Avatar. Star Wars. The Force Awakens. Avatar. Avengers. Said Avatar. Okay, free range. Avatar. What? Yeah. Avengers. Who said Avengers? Jen. <laughs> nice job. Oh, oh really? Yeah, that movie was ridiculous. It like so many wow. people tried to get it, like see. It I never saw Thursday. that. I, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I should go see it, huh? It's good. You don't Which? Have where you can yes. Hear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's old school. You're like you used to have to go see movies, but now you don't anymore, really. Um, Which NFL team does not play in its home city? The Cowboys, the Colts, the Patriots, or the Saints? Cowboys. Oh, no, that's Dallas-Fort Worth. Uh, yeah, it's Dallas Cowboys. They play in Fort Worth. They play uh, in Arlington. Yep. Okay. Same right. thing. Good job. Okay, I have a question. I missed what the fastest fish was. The fastest <laughs> fish? What was the fastest fish? Was it the barracuda? It was the sailfish. Oh. Let's see. All right. My daughter's not allowed to help me anymore. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. No, sailfish isn't even on there, so it could have been the sailfish. Oh, it's a new question. What is the most consumed fish in the United States? Can you let Kate back in? Tuna. Can you let Kate back in? Oh. Yeah. Someone asking me a question? Yes. Letting Kate back in. Oh, sure. Okay. We got it. Okay. So I love this part. So this is fun. Okay. We're just taking our, our carbon paper shiny side down. Shiny side down. Shiny side down. And line it up on the corners. And then put the carbon paper on top. And as I said before, don't worry about drying the um, grass or anything. We are just um, going for the main outline so we can follow, give a little guidance. So follow along with me. We're gonna get these little people. I can't decide, I think I was drawing a guy with a, like a goatee. <laughs> 
So we just trace the people. You're tracing, Everything. you're using your tracing paper. Yeah, you're, you're tracing the people, yes. But you're also gonna trace the tree. So. Is that when we use the hair dryer or did it matter? Yes, you do need to use the hair dryer because <laughs> your carbon will stick and make a, make a mess of your painting. So use your hair dryer. And then, yeah, so for the tree, we're just gonna go up and we're just gonna do the outer branches kind of thing, you know? Just give us some idea where these branches we need to go. So like, for instance, for this branch, I'm just going to make a straight line. Because I your think, number 12 brush and your number 14 brush are going to help you do this so easily. I think I'm going to have my person reading the NCCN guidelines. Clearly, <laughs> 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 you thought about that too much. <laughs> Too funny. I'm gonna have mine read the purple book. <laughs> is, Kate, is Kate back in? I'm back in. Hey Kate, missed you. Oh, I missed you guys too. But it was a good little meeting. Kate, I didn't have time to order any uh, slam. What are we called? The slam? Is this the slam fest or uh, what's our what's our theme? Steam punk. punk. No, let's do steam funk instead of punk. So what is that? Tell me what this what what this is that I've never heard of that. Well, apparently it's a movement. It's like um, think industrial revolution meets um, I don't know. It's like crazy. Did you see my hat when I got on? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's that. It's those goggles and. There's apparently bars all over Europe that are sting, steampunk themed. See my bar? I have a bar. <laughs> yeah, so did everybody get your, oh, very nice. I did, I got my bar. Yep. Um, okay. Now, I looked up clothing, and this was the closest I could come to steampunk clothing in my closet. So, you know. Kudos to you, that's perfect. Yeah, it's a whole thing, like a whole um, lifestyle kind of thing with the clothes and the shoes. And uh, there's an artisan in the Chicago area who makes just steampunk masks. And they're just amazing, really beautiful with the, like the one monocle kind of a. Uh, yeah. And you mean like masks for COVID, right? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> like, like a Mark <laughs> mask only a steampunk mask. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go and mute to do my hair dryer. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I did not make all of the little branches on my tree. Can you see that? Take a look. Yeah, I see. But I spent a whole lot of time trying to make those intricate lines because we're gonna do those. We're gonna make our um, number 12 brush do that work for us. Okay. You know the only thing better than this would be paint with numbers. Okay, so I'm going to get as many of these little lines in here ah! as possible. <laughs> you go for it. <laughs> All right, so our next color that we get to use is black, of course. So I want you washing out that number 14 brush. We're going to use that later, but make sure it's clean. Just Swish it around in the water, tap off the excess, and then lay it down on your paper towel, real nice. And then we're gonna pick up our number 12 brush. Okay, that's this one. It's got a nice little point on it. And we're gonna need that point for these little small areas, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some black. And we're gonna use quite a bit of it, so I wanna make sure I've got enough. Well, you can't do all of the lines, I'll tell y'all, because when she hit that brown, you can't see crap. <laughs> all right. Okay, so I am dipping my number 12 brush in the water, and I'm just touching it to the paper towel and twirling it. 
not sucking out all the water and I'm going to go in and pick up a little bit of black on the end of my number 12. So it looks like a nice little pin. I love when a paintbrush has paint on it just like that. All right, so in order to paint these small spaces, we're going to use just the tip of the, the brush and we're, you know, just stabilize your hand. Make sure that the brush feels comfortable in your hand before you put it to canvas. Okay. What color is this? This black. is black. Black with the big brush or the small brush? The small brush. I don't think they saw that question. What was the question? Black, the, the small brush, right? Oh, right. Number 12. The, the round brush, yes. Okay, so now I have got my brush loaded up and I'm just going to use the tip of this brush and I'm just going to lightly tap. See that? It just made a little dot. So that's what we want to use to get into these small spaces and make sure we don't go outside of the lines. Lightly tap. Now is the challenge. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. If you had a tick disorder, you might have some issues. <laughs> uh, just tap really tightly, or tap. <laughs> Tongue twister. I'm not even going to try to say it again. Uh, <laughs> tap lightly with the end of your brush hardly any pressure at all, and you'll be able to get into those tiny spaces. And then when you get out of the tiny spaces, then you can use the whole brush. Oh, this poor guy is not very attractive. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a scary profile. Hey, I'm going to give my guy a fro, as a matter of fact. I like it. Give him a William Yoon. <laughs> yeah, I have a fro. I may, I may, may call my guy the steampunk guy and pretend you it was give a, him a top hat. And pretend it was a planned. Oh my gosh, you should see my guy. I feel like, Kim, I need to dare you to do a William Yoon hair <laughs> hairstyle. <laughs> now, I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah, you, you might win. Life. You can give it a punk hairstyle, whatever you like. Okay, so I'm tapping just with the tip of this brush now. See that little hair sticking out? On the end, I'm using just that little hair. And I'm barely touching the canvas so I can get in and give an accurate representation of this book. And then you're done. And I actually have to make water. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Marker, right there. That's exactly why I put it there, because I'm like, they're gonna need that. No, for you, because I would have been able to see it there. How many US states border the Gulf of Mexico? Come on, where are my geography people at? Uh, Gulf of Mexico. Five. We're going five here. I say five. Oh, Sounds good to me. What was that? Hey. How many? Ding, ding, five. Ding, ding. Five. You got it, Kyle. Yes. I only got one right. Okay, so before I go any further, I'm going to show you. Oh, that looks like Bob Ross now. <laughs> <laughs> because I approve of this activity. Who's Bob Ross? What? Oh, what? Oh, no. You're being funny, right? You're being funny, right? You don't know She's her. not. Of course, you don't know her set right now. Oh, no, know? I'm not. I'm gonna... Bob Ross is that guy on public television that does the. No. So and he Bob has Ross, baby squirrels in his pocket. <laughs> so Bob Ross is on Netflix. You can, uh, you didn't have to put it all the way on me. <laughs> Bob Ross is on Netflix. <laughs> and uh, this is my Bob Ross doll. He has it. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> and um, 
Here, let me put them down here as you can see them. Can I have another camera? There he is. Oh, that's perfect. Doesn't that look like Bob Ross? Yes, it does. <laughs> I think mine looks a little like Abraham Lincoln, and I, I didn't mean to do it. Let me see. I hold it. See it. Okay, it's not finished, but look. Can, can you not see? It looks no. so, kind of like Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> okay. It looks like a hamster hat. from here. Oh. Looks Here's like what? Here's my. Here's okay, my I'm doing an important thing now. I want you guys to see. Okay. Okay. So um, there's this thing that we need to do, and it's called grasp. So <laughs> I don't. Want to, I don't. Not the kind you said. Right. <laughs> We're drawing it, not using it. Uh, yeah. Hold on, just one. <laughs> uh, well, everybody can do their sips or whatever. <laughs> Again, it's only one o'clock. <laughs> right. Okay. So I think I have too much paint on your on my brush. So go ahead and. Um, Take your number 12 brush and rinse it because, or if you're like me, you had too much paint. So I have just cleaned my brush. I had too much paint it. You don't want a lot of paint in your brush for this technique. Okay, so make sure you got a clean brush, you bring it back to a point. Okay, then we're gonna go and lay this brush down flat into the black. So there's very little paint. Then we're gonna use this brush to make your grass. And this is how it goes. So we're just, we're coming to the edge of the canvas and we're kind of on an angle, I guess. And then we just flick up like this. And this is how we're gonna get our grass. Okay, so that's why you can't have too much paint. So if you have too much, let's see if I can show you what'll happen. Oh, of course I can't. Hold on. I'll put too much paint to show you. Well, your blades just get fatter. You just get fat blades of grass, I guess. No, that's green, right? No, this the is grass, black. The, the grass is supposed to be black? Yes. Okay. So yeah, so, and you're just using super light pressure. Okay, so, so part once you get this first, go ahead. Part didn't finish drawing my people down at the bottom. That's okay, I was just demonstrating this for you so that when you get to this point, you can. Oh no, I didn't draw them. So I, I'm, I'm winging it from here. <laughs> I nixed okay. my people. All right, well, that's, you know, it's your, it's your thing. You get to do what you want to do. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just put some black here so my guy doesn't look like he has no legs. That's my problem. Yeah, so just go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> you are cracking me up over here. All right, so now I'm going to use that uh, foundation that I just made and make some grass. So very lightly, not a lot of pressure. Mine looks slightly like flames that are black that are going to consume Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> and burn the purple book. <laughs> In which U.S. state would you find Mount Rushmore? My Rushmore? Really? <laughs> <laughs> South Dakota. <laughs> South, <laughs> South Dakota. <laughs> the answer is South Dakota. I have a question. I just wanted to show you that so you guys can move around if you wanted to. But now I'm gonna go up the trunk of the tree with my number 12. Same thing, medium pressure so that you stay within the lines. Take it nice and slow. And I wanna show you how I'm gonna treat the branches. 
So is number 12 our round one? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so this is where you see how your, your number 12 does double duty. So we'll bring out this first branch. Oh, you're, out, you're outside of this picture. Am I? I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't see what you're doing. And that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I got you. I got you. Okay, I got it now. You're in. Okay. okay. Here, make uh, my palette full screen for a minute. Because we're all using black, so. Yeah, make my, this, full screen. Got it. It's good. Where did Brian go? I don't know. Uh, let's see if he, no, he's not in the waiting room. He's right here. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Well, I'm on mute. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to focus here. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Catch up. I'm so far behind. Me too. <laughs> so that's okay, because you know what? I'm recording this. Um, and from what I understand, you're not um, making a decision on your uh, who's who in your group group wins right away. Like you get more time to work oh. on it if you want to. So I don't know who Kate, you know what the deadlines are, right? Uh actually no. Um, oh. but we can work as long as we want. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> As long as your paint stays good. So, okay. So I'm picking up some black with my number 14, my number 12, and I'm just following this little straight line that I created. I'm gonna turn my canvas. And I'm just lifting up as I get towards the end. So see what happened? It's like, uh, it's kind of like calligraphy a little bit, I guess. Um, in terms of pressure. So heavy pressure gets you a fat line with this brush. And then when you lift it up, watch what happens as I lift it up. So it gets thinner. Can you do mine for me? <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot. And yeah, just lift that up. I love looking at trees when I walk. How they so Cheryl, are you um, taking note of like all of where we're all from? Because now you have uh -huh. students all over the country. Yeah, I do. I noticed that, you guys. Yeah, that's pretty much the story of our lives these days. I mean, we have very few local um, people who paint with us um, because it's mostly corporations or universities or uh, Netflix or <laughs> or LinkedIn or uh, Ernst and Young. So it's, you know, Sando. Um, so how did you, because I, you know, I thought that there's a place by the office in Princeton. And so that's what I figured this was from. Oh, no, they went, they looked for me. They found that, you know what they probably did? They searched um, virtual paint party, maybe black owned. And when I do that, or when my friends do that, I come up right away. Because okay. I think Jeannie found you, right? Yeah. So, Tori, do you know? so yeah, I got a strong search engine game. <laughs> so <laughs> that whole SEO thing, you know, so. Um, Search engine game. So a strong search engine game. Yes. Yes. That's what it's all about. It's like you can't, people think you can build a website, build it, and they will come like that movie. But um, actually, it's the whole, you know, uh, kind of uh, specialization, I guess. There are people who do just that search engine optimization. But I'm glad. So, are you part of a chain? Like, um, do, do, have you ever heard of Pino's Palette? Am I what part of mean? a chain? Do I come off like I'm part of a chain? <laughs> no, 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 no. But um, I think that there's ch like chains out there. Yeah, there are. Yeah, there are. And um, I initially thought about that when I started my business, and then I was like, no, I don't want to be having someone else tell me what I want to do if I want to paint. Frankenstein next week. I want to be able to paint Frankenstein, or if I want to paint 
um, uh, what's that one with the Jack Skeleton uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, which I'm gonna paint. Um, that's what we're gonna that's do awesome. for Monday. And it's gonna be a free class. We're gonna do um, Nightmare Before Christmas. And oh, wow. um, so, yeah, I just wanted to have my own control over everything. And now how do you get in on that? They wouldn't let me, they wouldn't let me do this. <laughs> they wouldn't let me do this if I was working for someone else. I, they wouldn't let my little picture be on there. You guys got to look oh. up. Look. <laughs> <laughs> this little picture. Yes. <laughs> this is you too, right? Yes, that's me. <laughs> Me in cartoon form. <laughs> That's <it>. awesome. <laughs> Thanks for asking, you guys. I never had such a interviewing type of party before. <laughs> <laughs> Changes that we usually are asking all the questions. What was the first planet to be discovered by using a telescope? Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, or Uranus? <laughs> <laughs> not, to, not to be confused with your anus. Um, <laughs> I knew you wouldn't let that one go. No, I wouldn't. You mean I didn't say it right? No. no you did. You did. I put too much emphasis. Yes. <laughs> so we appreciate it. me over here. way of saying it without the spark. <laughs> Oh, there is. Yeah. Danny says there's a way to say that word without the anus part. <laughs> Uranus? Uranus. Like that. Uranus but then it's not really as fun. You're not really winning. <laughs> well, tell Danny. You said it the other way. Right. That's the way everybody's always said it, but I think that's correct. <laughs> and, Uranus. and lo and behold, <laughs> that's the answer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So, again, you guys, just Lift your brush up when you get towards the end of those um, fat branches and make it skinny. Yeah, somehow mine didn't go quite like that. But that <laughs> yeah, I know. I tried okay. to add a little bit of a scary Halloween show. Yeah. That's my canvas. To be. <laughs> so for Abraham Lincoln. Scary Halloween show. <laughs> Cheryl, can you show us how you did the grass one more time? Uh-huh. So here, I'll do it on this side. So just make sure you don't have a lot of paint in your brush, okay? So you're pulling up. Yeah, so I'm starting at the edge over here so I can make my mistake on the way up, right? And then yeah. by the time I get to the top, so I'm flicking my brush. And the longer you leave it on, the taller your grass is. Okay and you're just real light with it. And then you go back later and you do another layer, you know? We'll try to do it all at once. Well, I just accidentally touched black in front of my girl, so I might have to make it a sneeze or something. <laughs> this one. <laughs> yeah, just get that in like that. Like why anybody would be reading in high grass like this, like bugs <laughs> weren't crawling all over them. <laughs> See, I'm so easily distracted. She pulled me away from the trees and got me back to the, the grass. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mary. She'll do that to you. <laughs> I have. What do they call that? When uh who said, Who said that? ADD. COVID brain. <laughs> she is a stitch. Oh my She's God. A stitch. Grass will do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> what she said, you ought to know, huh? <laughs> so then do, with, the, with the things that we didn't draw, that we didn't trace the branches, do we just improvise? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I'm telling you how I want you to learn. Here, okay, we're going to do it again. And that's why, okay, so I'm dipping in. Make sure your black is like ink. It's got to be like ink. It can't be like paste, okay? Like it comes out of the container. It's got to be like ink. You're, you're that's, why my, that's my excuse for how this looks. It, yeah, it was, so. It was so, like paste, not like ink. So think I'm of actually quite from, talented. It just was the, ink, the paste, <laughs> not the ink. <laughs> <laughs> 
so think of the trunk as the thickest part of the tree, right? So as we go up, our branches get thinner. So we pick up the brush slowly like this. I'm just picking it up slowly and my, my branches are getting thinner as I go up. So I just keep going up nice and slow. Just take your time. Then this branch right here is going to come off of this. So it's going to be a little fat too when we start out but it's gonna get thinner right away because it's not that long. And then maybe there's one coming over here. So I once did an embassy tour in, in DC and uh, I can't remember which one, which embassy it was, but there was like this room with a bunch of paintings um, and I swear that it looked like they went to like paint and sip and <laughs> just pulled them off. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I did that with paint and sip. <laughs> oh, Not that they were bad, just it's just that it looked that style. Do you think there's a certain style to painting and sip paintings? I think so. Yeah, that's why I totally I go the opposite direction. Typically, what you'll see is that we go with a theme of one sort or another. When we first started out, we did musicians. So we did Prince Party, we did Prince Music, and then we painted oh, Prince, or we did um, Janet Jackson, or uh, Cher, or These sound whatever. challenging. That sounds like a challenge to paint. Yeah, but we sometimes we do them in silhouette or in two tones or something like that, so that it was easier for people to be successful. That's the whole trick of it: is you have to do things, you have to come up with paintings that people will find and do and have success with, because nobody wants you know to <laughs> try art and then fail. <laughs> you want to have something that you can at least appreciate, right? So, yeah. So, yeah, just take your time. And this part right here is. Yeah, question. What popular alcohol is made from fermented rice? Hockey. Hockey. Sure is. And actually, I think today's National Sake Day, either today or yesterday, was. Is it? Give me some sake. Sake, walkie. All right, you guys are probably moving faster than me. I have to. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does anyone on our team have an interesting drink going, or is it all water? Uh, all water. I have a coffee drink. Yeah, I have a coffee. But I, I did bring. I wanted to show you because I wanted to see if anybody else had it. So the one drink that I have. Can you guys see me? No, I. For some oh, reason, you're like a ghost. No, you're yeah. blurry. <laughs> am I blurry? Okay, where am I? I, I can only get four people on the screen. Oh, I am a ghost. Because my, oh. What is that? It's um, a bush light in a corn can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me switch my That's back. awesome. So now leaves. Our number 12 brush is going to give us leaves. I am going to go back to my orange and ochre palette over here. And Ooh. I'm going to add some, a little bit of black to my brown. Again, you guys be careful if you need something too dark by doing this. Just make sure you put that color off to the side first and then add a little bit to the brown. Then you won't over darken it. So we're going to take this brown. And I'm actually going to add, I'm going to add a little orange to it. I think everybody should stop painting their black branches and watch this because I think yeah. we're going to. So we're yeah, going to get back to the girl, right? Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. This is very important. <laughs> okay, so we're taking our number uh, 12 brush and the amount of paint is the same as for the grass. Okay, just a little bit. 
and we're just pressing down. So there's one leaf. There's another. There's another. There's another. And then you can just kind of go willy nilly if you want. Just we're just getting down a first layer of leaves. And that's with brown. Uh huh. This is a brown and kind of with a little black. Remember, and I uh, suggested to you guys that you always put the darker color to the side first, so you don't make it overly dark, and then just add a little bit at a time. And then you can just go willy nilly with the leaves. Go willy nilly, have fun. Just drop those bad boys all over. And the reason why we do these darker leaves first is so that when we put our light, lighter leaves on top, they have a, like a little foundation to lay it down upon. And then just go off to the right. That one's a little messy leaf. And it's not going to show up too much on the brown, but I do it anyway just because. And it's definitely going to show up on the orange. And you can even just kind of drop some little leaves. Here and there. And actually, this makes me want to pick up some of my black and just make like a little. So the more detail you put in your branches too, that could help you when go back and add some of these tiny little branches where your leaves actually would come off of. So when you're doing that extra credit stuff, go back in and put some little branches. This is where abstract comes in, Cheryl. <laughs> this is Bob Ross right here. Right. Yeah, I just keep adding. So I'm going to do some here too. Yeah, so you can spend some time and do some detail and then you'll get some extra brownie points. So do you think you'll be able to go to live anytime soon? You mean in-person parties? Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, June, well, you know, I mean, when the world says, okay, I'm ready, you know, <laughs> we're ready to go. So hopefully that'll be summer of 2021. That's what we're hoping. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, well, you know what? This when this first happened, I, when they were talking about it, this was going to last for three months, I thought, oh my God three months and then I was reading about uh, the pan, not the pandemic, but that was in 1900 at the turn of the century. Uh, 1918? Yeah, so the, it, ha it was a year and a half, two years, you know, that they had to walk around wearing masks and stuff. So, I mean, to me, it's like you just adapt and you can't focus on the negative. You just can't. I mean, each individual one of us, you guys in your job as pharmacists and doctors, I mean, you got to do what you can do every day and that's it. That's mm -hmm. all. That's all you can do, you know? So, um, yeah. Work. What's that? You make it work. And make it work, right? <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, and do something happy for yourselves. You deserve it. And... Stay at home. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's really good you could do this virtually. How many teeth shark a shark girl looks like? Now I'm taking some um, of my brown and my orange. I'm going to pick up, we're going to make a third color. And it's going to be like a light. Are you doing this multiple choice on this? Because I can't see it. Here, let me make sure. This uh, you can't see what? 500, 5,000, 50,000. Oh, the question. Oh, okay. How many teeth can a shark grow in its lifetime? I mean, I'm going to say 5,000. 5,000. Okay. So now I just made a mixture of brown and orange <laughs> to go on top of my brown that I just laid down. Hey there, Ryan. <laughs> and... Then my next layer is going to be orange. And then on top of that, we're going to do um, our yellow ochre. So see how this is a little lighter. Maybe we add a little bit more orange to it. Excellent. So you're recording this so that when I 
you know, later today. <laughs> yes. Yes. After a couple of drinks. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I sent uh, Jeannie the recording from last night. She said everyone enjoyed themselves, so I was really happy about that. And um, yeah, and then it also let me know that I need to edit it so that you guys don't have to listen to us prepping because sometimes Zoom just automatically, if you don't change the settings, will start recording the moment you start setup. So yeah, so we have that second color. And I actually feel like I want to add a little yellow ochre to it. Yeah, why not? And so since I have extra paint on my brush, I'm going to tap a little lighter. Oh, I kind of like that. Look at that. <laughs> Happy accident. Oh, who painted the ceiling in the Sistine Chapel? Michelangelo. So Michelangelo. Yeah. Michelangelo. So this is going to work real well on my, I'm going to turn my brush, my palette, because it's not, I'm not getting leaves the way I want them. I feel your pain. Is <laughs> 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 No, I want to be there. You just adjust. Longest coastline in the world, US, China, Canada, Russia. Uh, I think it's US. Huh. I went with Canada. Yeah. <laughs> it is Canada. Who said that? Me. Ooh. I know I'm not supposed to answer the questions. <laughs> Have you heard them before? The answer. I've never think, been to Canada. Of course, I think ordered by what other country? France, Brazil, Spain, Spain, Spain. Spain. We got an answer for Spain. Ah, very good. Okay, and last but not least, in terms of my tree color, I'm going with some yellow ochre and with a little white. So I'm going to clean off my palette brush real quick. And I'm going to add some white to my yellow ochre so that these leaves pop when we add them. I think what might be cool too is just to add a little bit of this this burnt orange that I created. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Mine's real modernistic interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> That's the story I'm sick of. <laughs> I think I can put some more yellow in there and fix that. <laughs> so, yeah. And, Here. Um, yellow. Oh, over. how many different colors of leaves do you have going? Like three? How many? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this is, I just picked up some yellow ochre and some white, and I mixed some of that, uh, this rusty looking uh, brown over here. Okay. And I picked up some yellow ochre, and then I'm just tapping really lightly because I have a lot of paint on my brush, but that's okay. They look like, like the leaves are, can you zoom in on this so they can see this a little better? Thank you. Okay, so yeah, so I've got a little more paint on my brush, so I'm just kind of like tapping it, and they they look a lot like leaves. But you got to have this shape on your brush, okay? Remember, wet it and then twirl it. Wait, I missed that part. <laughs> so I'm just tapping my brush in there and then like uh, change directions, you know, this way, that way.
And uh, on this side over here, where the orange is on that side, I'm going to add some more yellow ochre and let the yellow pop on its own. So we'll need more yellow for it to show up. So I'm just touching the tip of the brush now. Just the tip. And they're making little tiny leaves. I'm leaving, I'm leaving the leaves for last. You can. I just feel like I have to watch you on video to do that. Yeah, watch the technique. Good idea. I mean, not that, you know, painting right away isn't a, is a, a bad thing, but it's like, yeah, if you feel like you really want to score on this competition, <laughs> <laughs> you have time. Yeah, Kim's in it to win it. You know, yeah. she's like, so I remember We are it. not competitive <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> yep. so, yeah yeah just tap because that brush will make the leaf for you it's doing all the work just lightly touch and and you're right so like you could take a piece of paper and practice these strokes before you actually put them on your canvas too another thing I wonder if we have any painters on our team, team, yeah. you know, the broader we, team. Gentura, sure the medicine cog is our ringer. <laughs> you all know, I mean, Gentura is an artiste. Oh, wow. Oh, a uh, how many taste buds does the tongue have? 600, 2,000, 9,000, 6,000. And the answer is, oh, 9,000. 9,000. Wow. <laughs> My son is picking on you. Is that your son? Yeah, Danny. Oh, I didn't know he was your son. Yeah. How old is he? He said, you guys are doctors, come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're focusing, so, Danny. Why you call me out, Mom? We can't do two things at once. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> they don't deal with taste buds. <laughs> That's not my specialty. What is considered the most poisonous fish in the ocean? The great white shark? The no. lionfish, the stonefish, or the pufferfish? The pufferfish. Stone, stonefish. Puffer? Puffer? Mm-hmm. Yeah, people eat it, too. Yeah, yeah, isn't the puffer the one they eat? Stonefish. Oh, like oh, no. Stonefish. I got it right. I was a marine biology major. So. <laughs> hey, hey, good job. Impressive. <laughs> hey. I need to fix my sneeze situation here. Oh, yeah. Why don't you hold it up so I can see if I can help you resolve it? I did. I just covered it with uh, Dijon mustard. <laughs> <laughs> it has been fixed. All right. <laughs> Oh, another right. fish question, Shelby says. Which of the following is not a defense mechanism of the puffer fish? Pointy spines, burst of speed, poison, or electric shock? A defense mechanism, which is not a defense mechanism. Electric shock. Uh, did you say shock? Electric shock, shock. yeah. Oh, she knows her fish. <laughs> <laughs> we all have to have our skills. <laughs> I my beers too. Beer questions. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who my girl will look like. <laughs> or what she will look like. Very Todd. <laughs> just remember to control that, even if you just have to touch just the tip of your brush down and make a small mark. That's better than pressing your whole brush down and going out of the, the lines. So just tap, tap, tap. 
into those little small spaces and you can control what she looks like. And you don't want a lot of, when you're doing the leaf, you don't want a lot of leaf stuff on your uh, paintbrush, correct? Leaf stuff? <laughs> you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's a technically correct term. Leaf yeah, what stuff. are you drinking? You, <laughs> you got something in that water. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, paintbrush stuff that we need to put on there. Um, yeah, you made me forget the question now. What was your question? Uh, when, we, when we're making our leaves and we, we've rolled our paintbrush, yes, and then you put the paint on for our leaves, How, we don't use a lot of paint, right? It's just a little bit of paint for the leaf. Right, right. So, I mean, but... At one point, I did a, a stroke here. Let me show you again. I think I can uh, do it with um, the yellow ochre. Is I, I'm picking up some paint, like I'm making it like it's inconsistency, right? Okay. And I've got paint on both sides of my brush. Yep. And I still got the point, right? Okay. So I'm just laying it down just the tip got it okay i'm in so and if you do it the, the right way and, uh, if you feel there's excess water like right here i just got some excess i'll just touch it to my uh paper towel and it'll suck that water out and then you okay. just can go back and that's not the right angle but that's okay just angle your brush up to get that leaf shape got it Thank you. Thanks for humor. Yep. And uh, I think I'll go over here and get some more. The largest species of fish. Ooh, I can't see what D is because it's under Cheryl. What's blue whale? Whale. Well, you can move the what you call it the your window of people. You can slide that around. Oh, I can. Yeah. Oh, you mine does it. You can make it so it goes to the top. So click on anybody or in the group of people list, and then you'll get a little bar off this to the sides, the side, and it says like minus and and then two rectangles. And it'll make it go to the top. Oh, oh, now she disappeared. I made her disappear. My daughter's then, trying to. Oh. Oh, you can take a picture of your work. Stop what you're doing and take a picture of your work so you can see how you've done so far. It's a good way to know where you need to fix something or where you can add some more detail or another coat of paint. Um, if, even if you want it, like if your green is not the way you want it, like in this green, it's a little bit more um, deep because I did a, sec a second coat. So that's okay. And I didn't even repaint um, the leaves here, but you could, okay? And then don't forget to sign your work. And I would love it if you guys came and paint with me on every other Monday. It's, those are free painter paintings and you got the paint. So you're all set really. So if we had to go buy some more paint, cause we're gonna, you know, use up our paint. Do you have a <laughs> recommend? <laughs> uh, yes, um, I recommend that you get Liquitex or you can also use uh, Michael's brand. Michael has a brand. I think it's Artist Loft is fine. Uh, yeah, and if you do the Bob Ross painting with us, we're including a free fan brush in the kit. So that's big time. Like the fan brush is the thing when you're painting with Bob Ross. That's how you get those. I want to do that. I love watching him do that. So when do you do that? <laughs> We're going to do it. Shelby, what date is it? I'm addicted now. The 24th? I think it's, I think it's the 24th. Okay. Well, yeah. we can get it from Jeannie or you guys can send us out if we want to be on your mailing list. Well, if you follow our Facebook page, oh, if you don't have Facebook, the little things up on the screen here. Do you have can, anything oh, on Facebook? Right yeah, there, you can follow okay. us. Oh, I don't do I don't do Instagram either. 
Yeah, so we I, want you to post your pictures and do all that kind of good stuff. We do. Okay, so you're at the Twitter. Yeah, we're we're everywhere, and uh, yeah, so we're promoting that event right now. And yeah, the first forty people get a uh, Bob Ross brush. And and, we're, and then what about the canvases? Like if you if you if we wanted to do it just to do oh yeah, it. it that's the whole kit. It's the whole kit. It's the whole kit. So um, yeah, I'll send you guys information or share it with uh, Jeannie so she can share it with you. And uh, again, so I'm gonna just add some last minute tips so that you can make this painting the best painting. I want you guys to win. <laughs> so far, you're my favorite. Oops, I didn't. <laughs> I just said it. Don't tell anybody. Oops, it's recorded. <laughs> it's recorded. It's on recorded. All right. They so, so um, anyway, I was going to say, so go back, put another coat of paint on here. Okay. Everywhere. Because when you, I think you have to photograph your work. So um, the better it looks, the more fine tuned it is, the better you're going to you know, uh, be in the rankings. If you want to switch this up, if you want to put some patterns anywhere, you know, some what? patterns. Oh, patterns. Like you wanted to, what? <laughs> uh, hi there, my camera's on. Okay. So uh, <laughs> if you wanted to add some, uh, you know, texture, like, let me just show you. I'm not suggesting you do this. Don't do this because you might mess up your own painting, okay? So don't do it just because I said do it. But like if you wanted to do, gosh. Okay, sorry. So you did this, you made some dots. I That's great. I don't know, you know, but. Uh, do whatever the heck I wish I could backspace over what. <laughs> if I didn't like it, right? It's like leaves are falling from the tree. Yeah. And it does kind of look like leaves are falling from the tree. Yes, exactly. Oh, that's my painting wins. <laughs> so that's what you were doing. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool, huh? Or you can make this box three dimensional or something, you know, down here. You could add a moon, you know, you could add some bats or some silhouette they can all be in silhouette you know just google some reference images i always recommend that you use reference images when you try to paint something or draw something um because even myself like when i made this the haunted house thing um you know it's not the best haunted house i mean it kind of looks like a, a backwood shack kind of thing you know, because I didn't have a reference image. So make sure like if you want to do birds or if you want to do any of that stuff that you'll just, you know, Google an image, bring it up on the screen as you paint it. Okay. And yeah, so if you have, did you have any questions or anything? Well, I mean, you know, I, you guys already asked some good questions. <laughs> <laughs> so you have all your stuff like online and like, and how far in advance do you have to sign up and get everything how far in advance it depends on if it's a private event or if it's a public event um for our public events um we're doing uh two weeks out so we're the bob the bob ross event is the 24th so we're allowing promotion now for a week and a half before um kids have to be shipped out and with the uh the post office being the way it is We've been seeing some pretty good shipping times despite everything, but I'm sure that's going to change when it gets towards the holiday season. But um, yeah, so like you have at least 10 days, in 10 days prior to the event, you want to sign up. So, but I'll share that with Jeannie. Perfect. This is awesome. This was, was so fun. Thank you so much. Oh, good. Thank I'm, you. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Very much. Very good. good. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm getting advice from the peanut gallery. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's so nice to have people to work with you. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys win. And um, what? Yeah, just like us on Facebook, share your pictures, come to the Facebook page, and I'll get, get you in the Facebook group, and then you'll make sure you get to paint all the time. So, and that's free too. So, Perfect. all right. Awesome. Thank you, Carol. All right. You Thank guys you. take care.
Thank you. Have a good weekend. I stay Bye. Stay Bye. Bye. You could even do your closing thing now because I was patient. <laughs> oh, cool. Ooh. That's awesome. So we're still on. We're still on. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh.